First in the spotlight tonight is Rod Laver, a juggler from Bristol. He's answering questions on the band Kraftwerk. Next, Marianne Fairthorne, a quantitative analyst from London on the ancient Turkish city of Şatalyuk. Brian Davis is a finance business partner from Bristol. His specialist subject, the Elizabethan seaman and explorer Sir Martin Frobisher. Julia Hobbs is a television producer from London. Her subject, the novels of Douglas Copeland. And Mark Eaves, an accountant from Bexley. His specialist subject, the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch. <laughs> John Humphreys and welcome to Mastermind 5. Not four contenders tonight and that's because it's the semi-finals and the winner goes through to the grand final with a very strong chance of becoming the nation's mastermind. The same rules of course, 90 seconds of questions on their specialist subject and two minutes on general knowledge. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us please. And your name is? Rod Laver. Your occupation? Juggler. And your specialist subject? Kraftwerk. Kraftwerk in 90 seconds starting now. Ralph Hutter and Florian schneider Eschleben formed the electronic music band Kraftwerk in 1970 after the demise of their previous band organisation in which city? Dusseldorf. Yes, the band's first two albums were originally released in Germany on the Philips label. On which British label were the two albums combined and released in the UK in 1972? RCA. Vertigo. Which artist designed many of the band's album covers and co-wrote lyrics with Ralph and Florian, including Autobahn? Emil Schultz. Yes. What name did Kraftwerk give to their own music label formed in the 70s? It was the name of their private music studio at Mintropperstrasse 16 in Dusseldorf. Kling Klang. Yes. What's the last track on their 73 album, Ralph and Florian, which includes an early use of the vocoder? Cristello. No, the Ananis Symphony. During their 1975 American tour, Kraftwerk appeared on NBC television performing an eight-minute version of Autobahn. Which late-night music show were they on? Midnight Special. Yes. What is the name of the electronic percussionist who joined the band after Wolfgang Fleur in 1975? His arrival encouraged their move to more synthesizer-dominated music. Carl Bartos. Correct. In February 1973, Kraftwerk appeared on a bill that included Tangerine Dream at a two-day festival of German music held in a suburb of a European city. Which city? Paris. Yep. Who directed the computer-generated video for Music Non-Stop in 86? Rebecca Allen. Yes. Which track gave Kraftwerk a UK number one hit single in February 82? It was previously released as a B-side to Computer Love. The model. Yep. At which, start it's all finished, at which London venue did the band play a series of eight concerts in February 2013? Uh, I'm going to have to tell you. Take a guess. Brixton Academy. No, well, not even closer. You take modern. Yep, in the Turbine Hall, believe it or not. Anyway, Rod, no passes. You have scored eight points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Marianne Firthorn. Your occupation? Quantitative analyst. And your chosen subject? Chattel Hook. Chattel in 90 seconds, starting now. Chattel is a Neolithic site in modern day Turkey. It's regarded as one of the most important archaeological sites. What does the name Chattel mean in Turkish? The definition may reflect the division of paths that occurs there. Fork Mound. Yes, what is the name of the British archaeologist who in the 60s was the first to dig at the site? James Mellor. Yep. Which tree, in addition to oak, provided the bulk of the construction timber used at Chattel according to the archaeologist Elania Suti's analysis of charcoal remains? Juniper. Yes. What material, a byproduct of volcanic eruptions, is found in large quantities in Chattel Hook? Obsidian. Yep. What is the name of the river that flowed close to Chattel Hook in ancient times with a channel that separated the east mound from the west? Charshamba. Yes. Which archaeologist found the bone condition porotic hypostosis in 41% of the adult skeletons uncovered by Mellart? He concluded they'd suffered from malaria. Angel. Yes. In which building structure were 62 people found buried? It was the largest number of such internments found on the site. 
five? No, one. Which Lithuanian-American archaeologist has been a prominent supporter of the controversial theory that Chetelhuk was the centre of a cult of the mother goddess? Kim Butas. Yep. A famous statuette from Chetelhuk appears to show a seated woman giving birth. On what does each of her hands rest? Big cats. Yeah. In the 95 excavation, two animals were most strongly represented in the bone deposits analysed by Louise Martin and Nerissa Russell. One was goat, the other? Sheep. Yep. What discovery of 99 threatened to destroy many undiscovered artefacts at the site and advanced the attempt to reach the bottom of the mound? Falling water table. Yes, a steep drop in the water table, yeah. Um, Marianne, no passes. You have ten points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Brian Davis. Your occupation? Finance business partner. And your specialist subject? The life and career of Sir Martin Frobisher. Sir Martin Frobisher. 90 seconds. Martin Frobisher was an Elizabethan navigator and explorer who had three unsuccessful expeditions to find the northwest passage to the Pacific Ocean and the Far East. What was the name of the ship that was built to accompany the Michael on the first of these journeys in 1576? Gabriel. Yep. When Frobisher first sailed to Guinea and the west coast of Africa in 1553, the commander of the expedition died during the voyage. Who was he? Tom Swindon. Yes. In 1559, Frobisher married his first wife, a widow who had an estate in Yorkshire. What was her name? Isabel. Yep. When he commanded a squadron of ships against the Spanish Armada in 1588, his ship was the largest in the English Navy. What was it called? The Triumph. Yep. What was the name of the company that owned a monopoly on northern trading routes and initially opposed Frobisher's first voyage in search of the Northwest Passage? The Russia or Muscovy Company. Yes. What Latin name, meaning the unknown limits, was given by Queen Elizabeth to the lands reached by Frobisher and his men on the second voyage? Meta Incognita. Correct. In 1569, he was imprisoned in the Fleet and Marshal Sea prisons pending the payment of a £900 fine for what crime? Um, he... Um, uh, 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 pass. Elizabeth I donated a naval ship for the second and third voyages to the lands in the hope for Northwest Passage. What was the ship called? The Eyed. Yep. What was the name of the male Inuit whom Frobisher brought back to England? He demonstrated hunting in his kayak on the River Avon to the astonishment of the people of Bristol. Elisio. Yep. What was the name of the writer who sailed with Frobisher on his second and third voyages and wrote about all three of his expeditions to the New World? George Best. Yes. Frobisher led an assault on a fortress in Brittany in 1594 where he was wounded in the thigh. On which peninsula was the fortress? Uh, Crozon Peninsula, El Leon. Is correct. You have only one pass. Um, Frobisher's crime, sort of, in 1569, though we haven't got the details of it, but anyway, it was piracy. Piracy, yes. Yes. No, no. There we are. Anyway, Brian, you have ten points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Julia Hobbs. Your occupation? Television producer. And your specialist subject? The novels of Douglas Copeland. Douglas Copeland in 90 seconds. Here we go. Which 91 Copeland novel includes the chapter headings Eat Your Parents, Enter Hyperspace and Shopping is Not Creating? Generation X. Yep. What term did Copeland coin in Generation X for a low pay, low prestige, low dignity, low benefit, no future job in the service sector? A muck job. Yes. Cheryl, who's a victim of the shooting in Hay, Nostradamus, is a member of a fervently Christian high school group. What's the group called? Youth Alive. Yes. Which of Janet's children calls her from an Orange County jail after getting into a religiously motivated bar brawl at the beginning of All Families Are Psychotic? Wade. Yep. In Micro Surfs, what is the first name of the character who maintains that cars in a parking lot on Sunday and a sure sign of a tech company worth investing in. Michael? Ethan. In Player One, Karen and her internet date Warren reluctantly admit to having met in a chat room devoted to what topic? Pass. What is the name of the narrator of Eleanor Rigby who introduces herself by saying, I may or may not snore, there's never been anybody to tell me one way or the other? Elizabeth Dunn. Yes. In Generation A, what is the brand name of the chronosuppression tablets which relieve anxiety by changing one's perception of time? Pass. In Miss Wyoming, Randy Monterelli is a rumour monger who peddles made-up celebrity gossip, including a story that an actress has had surgery to remove a vestigial beaver tail from her spine. Which actress? Pass. In J-Pod, who tells Ethan that he's on his way to China to work on designer prisoner of conscience labour with Aung San Suu Kyi? Pass. 
Well, I can tell you, because you're out of time, that was, in fact, Douglas Copeland. Oh. Um, yeah, the author, but there we are. Um, the, uh, the other pass is in Miss Wyoming, that uh, very strange business of... Uh, the actress having surgery to remove a beaver tail from her spine was Helen Hunt. Oh. The brand name of the chronosuppression tablets, Solon. And the chat room topic was peak oil apocalypse. Well, indeed, <laughs> that's the only reaction to that. Um, Julia, you have five points. Yes. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Mark Eaves. Your occupation? Accountant. And your chosen subject? The Pentateuch. The Pentateuch. In 90 seconds. The Pentateuch is the collective term given to the first five books of the Old Testament. In Genesis, the serpent tells Eve that if she and Adam eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge, they will be like gods, knowing what? All things. Good and evil. Which book of the Pentateuch begins with a list of the children of Israel? Exodus. Yep. What does Moses say in response when God first calls his name from within the burning bush in the book of Exodus? I am. No, it's here am I. Which of the plagues sent by God to punish Egypt covered the face of the whole land so that the land was darkened and they ate all the plants in the land? Locust. Yes, chapter 20 of the book of Leviticus sets out the penalties for making sacrifices to which God? Molech. Yes, according to chapter 34 of Deuteronomy, from which peak on or near the mountain of Nebo does Moses view the promised land about which God says, I swore to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob, I will give it to your offspring? Pisgah. Yep. What is the first of the Ten Commandments proclaimed by Moses in chapter 5, verse 7 of the book of Deuteronomy? You shall have no other gods before me. Yes, what wooden construction is described in the book of Exodus as being two and a half cubits in length overlaid with pure gold? The Ark of the Covenant. Yes, in the book of Genesis, which of the sons of Noah commits the sin of seeing his father naked, thereby bringing down a curse upon his descendants. Um, yep. What is the name of the first of the four heads into which the river out of Eden divides? It encompasses the land of Havilah. Pishon. Yep. In the book of Numbers, only two men are said to have survived of those who are numbered by Moses and Aaron in the wilderness of Sinai. One is Joshua, the other is... Caleb. ...is correct. No passes, Mark. You have nine points. A pretty close first round. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fifth place, five points, Julia Hobbs. Fourth place, eight points, Rod Laver. Third place, nine points, Mark Eves. Joint first place, ten points apiece, Marianne Fairthorne and Brian Davis. So it is the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. If they're tied on passes as well, there will be a tie break. So let's get on with it and ask Julia to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with uh, five points with your knowledge of Douglas Copeland's very strange books. Well, strange in some ways. <laughs> anyway, five points. You now have two minutes of general knowledge. So. Here we go. Which television sitcom followed the adventures of the cantankerous, accident-prone former security guard Victor Meldrew and his long-suffering wife, Margaret? One foot in the grave. Yes. What household device was invented in 1945 by Percy Spencer of the American company Raytheon after he found that a piece of radar equipment he was standing near melted a chocolate bar in his pocket? Microwave oven. Yeah. Who became the first American vice president to succeed to the presidency after the assassination of an incumbent when he succeeded Lincoln in 1865? Adams, no. Andrew Johnson. What name is shared by the centre of a target and a traditional hard-boiled sweet with black and white stripes? Bullseye. Yep. Which painter, who was born in Stratford, now in Greater Manchester in 1887, said of himself, I'm a simple man and I use simple materials? Lowry. Yep. Zubin Mehta, who conducted the orchestras in the three tenors concerts, was born in 1936 in which country? Israel. India. The 1915 novel of Human Bondage is a semi-autobiographical account of a young medical student's painful progress towards maturity. Who wrote it? Pass. The names of a Paris square have included Place Louis XV, Place Louis XVI and Place de la Révolution. What's it called today? Uh, Place de la Concorde? Yes, according to the authorised version of the Bible, what did Joseph's father make for him because he loved him more than his other children? Uh, drink his technicolour coat. No, a coat of many colours. Who said in 1974 that he would squeeze property speculators until the pips squeak? A remark that has been widely misquoted. 
a person. In Jewish cuisine, the dish Horishka is traditionally served at the festival of Sukkos is made from chopped meat and rice rolled inside the leaves of which vegetable? Cabbage. Yeah. Which Czech tennis player won her second Wimbledon singles title in 2014 when she beat the Canadian Eugenie Bouchard with the loss of just three games? Kvitova. Yeah. In astrology, what sign of the zodiac covers those born between the 22nd of December and the 19th of January and lies between Sagittarius and Aquarius? Capricorn. Yeah. Heath Ledger won a posthumous Best Supporting Actor Oscar for playing which role in the 2008 <coughs> film The Dark Knight? The Joker. The Joker is correct. You had two passes, Julia. It was Dennis Healy who said he squeezed property speculators until the pips squeak, although he's often quoted saying squeeze the rich, I think. Yeah. Anyway, and it was W. Somerset Maugham who wrote oh, of humour, which of course that. you knew, yeah. of human bondage. You have a total now of 14 points. Thank you. And now Rob Labour again, please. And uh, you start out with... Eight points with your knowledge of craft work and two minutes and now of general knowledge. Here we go. The American stock market collapse that happened in October 1929 is known by what name? Uh, Black Monday. The Wall Street crash. The Helmand River, which rises in the Hindu Kush and ends in neighbouring Iran, is the longest river in which country? Afghanistan. Yep. What is the name of the former Prime Minister of Luxembourg who was elected President of the European Commission in June 2014 in spite of fierce opposition from David Cameron? Juncker. Yep. Which alcoholic drink associated with artists such as Degas and Toulouse-Lautrec was nicknamed the Green Fairy or the Green Muse? It was banned in France in 1914 because of its alleged mind-altering effects. Absinthe. Yep. Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto both won acting Oscars at the 2014 ceremony for which film? Pass. What name is given to the final split in 1054 between the Eastern Churches led by the Patriarch of Constantinople and the Western Churches led by the Pope? The Great Schism. Yep. Which Dublin-born novelist's first works include The Bell, first published in 1958, and A Severed Head, first published in 1961? Seamus Heaney. No, Iris Murdoch. What shrub characterised by red bracts and native to Mexico and Central America is popular as a Christmas plant in Britain? Poinsettia. Yep. In chess notation, which piece is denoted by the letter N? Uh, knights? Yeah. Which duke led the English forces that defeated the Jacobites at the Battle of Culloden in 1746? Cumberland. Yeah. In chemistry, what name is given to a compound formed through the reaction of an acid with a base where the hydrogen of the acid has been replaced by a metal? Sodium chloride is a well-known example. Pass. A Formula One racing driver known as the Professor because of his approach to driving had a long-standing feud with Ayrton Senna. What was his name? Alan Prost. Yeah. Only one person is allowed to drink alcohol in the chamber of the House of Commons and only on budget day. What post is held by this person? Chancellor Ditschaka. Yes. In the television series From There to Here, who plays the family man Daniel Cotton, whose life changes in the wake of the 96 IRA attack on Manchester? Yeah, pass. Which former member of the SAS wrote the Geordie Sharp series of novels? In McNabb. Chris Ryan. Right. You have uh, three passes. Philip Glenister was the... Uh, Star of that television series, from there to here. Salt is the compound formed through the reaction of an acid with etc, etc, etc. And the film, the 2014 film, was the Dallas Buyers Club. You have, Rod, 17 points. <laughs> and now Mark again, please. And you start out with uh, nine points, Mark, and the score to beat is 17 at the moment. Let's see if you can do it with your two minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. What type of thick-skinned orange is named after an ancient port in Israel, now joined with Tel Aviv, near where it was first cultivated? Jaffa. Yep. Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper star as a pair of motorcycling hippies who travel from Los Angeles to New Orleans in which 69 film? Easy Rider. Yes. In which Central Asian country a former Soviet Republic of the historic cities of Samarkand and Bukhara, which were locations on the ancient Silk Road? Uzbekistan. Yes. The army of the Roman consul Scipio was defeated on the plains west of the Ticino River in 218 BC by which general who had crossed the Alps? Hannibal. Yeah, the Rape of the Lock and the Dunciad are among an 18th century English poet and satirist's most celebrated works. Who was he? Pope. Yes. Which French fashion designer was named head of the House of Dior on the death of its founder in 1957? He later set up his own fashion house after he had a nervous breakdown and was replaced at Dior. He so long. Yeah. What almond-flavoured cream, often used as a filling for tarts, is named after a 16th century Italian aristocrat 
aristocrat who was also the inventor of a perfume used for scenting gloves. Champlain. Frangipan, which seaside resort in Kent that has close associations with Charles Dickens and John Buchan, gets its name from a flight of steps cut into the cliff that leads from the cliff top to the sea. Broadstairs. Yep. Which Russian former Navy officer composed the symphonic suite Sherazada in 1888? Rimsky Korsakov. Yes. In Greek mythology, of which race of warlike women was Hippolyta the Queen? Amazon. Yep. The original instructions for performing a dance craze of the late 50s and early 60s were Imagine you're stubbing out a cigarette with both feet while drying your back with a towel. Which dance? Twist. Yeah. Whose series of 87th Precinct Mysteries started with Cop Hater in 1956 and ended in 2005 with Fiddlers? Omar Leonard. Ed McBain. Which Welsh athlete won an Olympic silver medal in the 110 metres hurdles when he came second to Roger Kingdom at Seoul in 1988? Ewan Thomas. Colin Jackson. Emerald, turquoise and alexandrite are among the gemstones traditionally given on which wedding anniversary? 15th. 55th. Which political party leader married his second wife, the German Kirsten Mayer, in 1999? Gerhard Schroeder. You'd think so, wouldn't you? It was Nigel Farage. Yeah. Um, you have now a total mark of 19 points. <laughs> and now, Marianne again, please. And uh, you start up with 10 points, but the score to beat is creeping up. It is now 19. So, here we go general knowledge. The Lake District town of Bowness on Windermere is home to a permanent exhibition dedicated to the life and work of which children's author? Potter. Yep. Yeah. What breed of dog was Barry, who died in the early 1800s and is reputed to have saved more than 40 people lost in the Alps? St Bernard. Yeah. What name is given to the starched item of neckwear characteristic of Elizabethan and Jacobean costume that was typically fluted and stood out around the neck? Rough. Yeah. Howard Blake composed the music for which 1982 children's animated television film based on the picture book by Raymond Briggs? Snowman. Yeah. Which 1948 film stars Humphrey Bogart as a Second World War veteran who travels to a hotel in Florida as a hurricane approaches and finds it occupied by criminals? Pass. What Italian word for ham is used in English specifically for sweet, thinly sliced raw ham, air dried and usually served as an hors d'oeuvre? Uh, Pancetta. Prosciutto. The Snape Maltings Concert Hall is close to a Suffolk town that's held an annual music festival each June since 1948. Which town? Aldborough. Yes, Aldborough. Which poisonous gaseous chemical element is the lightest of the halogens and the most reactive chemical element? Uh, fluorine. Yes. Whose memoirs were published in two volumes as the Downing Street Years in 1993 and the Path to Power in 1995? Uh... Blair. Margaret Thatcher. In which European country is the three-fingered peninsula of Halkidiki? Uh, Greece. Yes. Which singer had her first UK chart-topping single in 1993 when she accompanied Take That on Relight My Fire nearly 30 years after she first entered the UK charts? Lulu. Yeah. The explorer Christopher Columbus was born in 1451 in which Italian city? Genoa. Yes. Whose sonnet sequence 1914 and other poems embodies the romantic patriotism of the early years of the First World War? Brook. Yes. Which large marine mammal found in waters around Florida and the West Indies is also known as the sea cow and is a close relative of the Indian Ocean dugong? Manatee. Yes. In which television series about an elite covert operations unit did the team's instructions come on an audio tape that would self-destruct in five seconds? Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible is correct. You had one pass. Key Largo was that 48 film starring Bogart. But, Marion, you have now a total of 22 points. And finally, Brian again, please. So, you also start with 10 points. The difference is that you've now to get more than 22 if you're going to get through to the finals. So, two minutes on general knowledge to see if you can do it. Here we go. What name is given to the part of a golf course between the tee and the corresponding green where the grass is kept comparatively short? A pass. Which major battle of the Wars of the Roses in May 1471 ended in a Yorkist victory and the death of Edward, Prince of Wales? Uh, Towton. Tewkesbury. Who wrote to his brother Theo in a letter of October 1888, I cannot help it that my paintings do not sell. The time will come when people will see that they're worth more than the price of the paint. Uh, Picasso. No, Van Gogh. Who plays the title role in the 2014 biopic Grace of Monaco, which stars Tim Roth as Prince Rainier? 
Uh, pass. Which northeastern county is known as the land of the Prince Bishops because of the huge influence of the region's bishops in the early Middle Ages? Durham. Yep. Lynn Foldswood and Nick Ross were the original presenters of a television consumer affairs programme that began in 1985. Which programme? What show? Yep. What French breed of cattle is the bull Vexor Garth who sold for a record £105,000 at auction in Stirling in October 2012? Limousin. Charolais. After Harold's defeat at Hastings in 1066, the Witton Council in London elected an Anglo-Saxon prince, a grandson of Edmund Ironside, as the new king. Who was he? Uh, Regnall. Edgar. What rock music festival was hosted by Max Jasgur on his farm in Bethel, New York State in August 1969? Uh, Woodstock. Yep. What white sauce made with milk infused with herbs and other flavourings is named after the man who was said to have invented the original version? Bechamel. He was steward to Louis XIV of France and Bechamel, Bechamel is correct. Yeah. Okay. In which city in Kansas is the Boot Hill Museum, a reminder of its days as a frontier town on the Santa Fe Trail? Uh, pass. What is the name of the Italian author and academic whose best-known work, The Name of the Rose, is set in a 14th-century Franciscan Umberto monastery? Echo. Correct. Football's European governing body, UEFA, introduced FFP to try to curb excessive spending by clubs taking part in the competitions. What do the letters FFP stand Financial for? Financial fair play. Correct. Which English composer's first symphony set to text by Walt Whitman is called a sea symphony? Uh, Britain. No, Vaughan Williams. What was the name of the prison in Northern Ireland that was the scene of protests by nationalist prisoners in one of its age blocks in the late 70s and early 80s. They were demanding prisoner of war status and segregation from loyalist prisoners. The maze. The maze is correct. Uh, you had three passes, Brian. Dodge City. That's where the Boot Hill Museum was. Nicole Kidman played Grace of Monaco and the bit of golf course between the tee and the green, the fairway. The fairway, of course, You yeah. did know it. Those three passes, Brian, you didn't make it. 17 points. Please. So, he held on to that lead. Let's have a look at the scores. In fifth place, 14 points, Julia Hobbs. Joint third place, 17 points apiece, Rod Labour and Brian Davis. Second place, 19 points, Mark Eves. First place, 22 points, Marianne Fairthorn. Which means that Marianne is tonight's winner and she goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to her. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>